Hello everyone, this is Thiago from Envia and today it's time to talk about Solid Flow. This is our mass flow measuring device for applications in freefall and pneumatic transport. Solid Flow can handle up to 20 tons per hour. Wow, it's a lot. And it's ready for ATEX zones. Doesn't create any obstruction in your pipeline. It's great. Have a look. Solid Flow uses the latest technology for mass flow measurement of bulk solid materials. It can handle particles from 1 micrometer up to 10 millimeters. It's very important to mention that the sensor was made for diluted phase conveyance systems. So the sensor can be installed in freefall applications right after feeding devices or in pneumatic transport with good conveyance system. Solid Flow works with microwave technology. It means the sensor must be installed in metallic pipelines. Why? Because the microwave created here in the sensor goes through this neck, is contained by the pipeline. And then all of the particles which falls down here will reflect the microwave to the sensor. And then the sensor analyzes the frequency and amplitude, and then it will work such as particle counter. When we have more particles, it means more mass flow. When we have less particles, it means less mass flow. Solid Flow has internal software which will analyze the flow and provide you a good and reliable measurement even with different mass flow conditions. A complete measuring point consists of the following components. Weld on socket, sensor, C1 box, and evaluation unit, which can be touch screen or in this smaller version, ready for DIN rail mount. The recommended pipe diameter is related to the mass flow. When we have less mass flow, we should use smaller diameter. If you have more mass flow, we should use bigger diameter. For one sensor installation, we go up to 200 millimeters, and for bigger diameters, up to 600 mil, we can install three sensors connected to one C3 box, and from this C3 box, we connect to evaluation unit. The sensor installation is quite easy to do. Basically, we weld the socket here in the pipeline, we drill a hole through the socket, and we insert the sensor. The tip of the sensor should be flushing with the inner pipe. And this is something easy to adjust, because the sensor comes with these sections, and you just select using the adjustment ring according to the thickness of the pipeline wall. Using the multi-sensor evaluation unit, we can get 40 to 20 analog output and multibus communication. With the larger version, you can get up to three analog outputs, modbus communication, and more industrial protocols. The sensor's standard version is ready for 80 degrees Celsius and one bar, but we have more versions up to 220 degrees Celsius and 10 bar. And using different process adapters, the sensor is ready for a bunch of tough applications, such as very high temperatures, very high pressures, and a lot more. Solid flow is calibrated using a reference method. It means it's necessary to convey flow, to create flow, in order to calibrate the sensor. And it must be always in the process. It's not possible to calibrate a sensor in the lab and then bring to the process. We calibrate it in the process. Free fall applications after a screw feeder, rotary valve, bucket elevator, or any other solid conveying system, it's welcome for solid flow. Mixing systems, dosing systems, they all can use solid flow to measure the mass flow in order to control the flow rate for the construction industry like cement, gypsum, limestone, coal injection lines for food, grains, chemical plants and much more. Solid flow is more than ready to supply with reliable mass flow measurement up to 98% accuracy. Wow! And then after all of it, do you want to learn more about solid flow and solids mass flow measurement? Please. Talk to us.
we want to know about your application too. Links are all here in the description. And please, if you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe, like it, and share this content. See you next time with more Solids Measurement. Ciao, ciao!